closer to me so we look like we like each other. <laughs> but it's all fake. It's a my lifestyle's mud. And it's just <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my older sister, Adila, here with me. And okay, <laughs> we're gonna do the Nigerian tag and the sister sibling tag because we might as well just put them in one. So yeah, should we just dive right into this? Okay, the first question is what's your Nigerian name? So, all the names, birth certificate name. Do you know all your names? No, I actually don't. Okay, so just do the ones that you know. I know all my, well not all of them, because it's like 15, but I know majority. I only know one, literally. Are you being serious? Dead ass. Go on. Adiola. <laughs> it's literally it. <laughs> Shall I say mine? Mine's Margaret Olifula, Ola Dayo, Ocheche Vesu. Wow, she's really showing me up over here. Gosh, I don't look at my birth certificate. Second okay, question: mm. well, Were you born in Nigeria? I was born in um, East London. The UK. Or you could just say you were born in England. I, mean, I was born in the UK. <laughs> born okay. in East London. Okay, what's your favourite Nigerian song? <laughs> <coughs> what is my favourite Nigerian? I think at the moment it's full. My favourite David though. Um, I like David Guru. That reminds me of six four. My girl. friends called Dami. What's your favourite Nigerian movie? <laughs> yeah. What's up, yeah? That's, that's the only one that's rings to mind to be honest. What's up, yeah? Comes to London. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> favourite Nigerian food. This is actually hard, but I know what my. No, this is hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything. Okay. I am mache, white rice, plantain. Super mom. I feel like because she's already seen the, the questions today, she already knows. No, what I, uh, I don't know what I'm saying because I like yam and egg. Okay, yam and egg. That's a classic. That is a classic. That's, that's a classic. <laughs> um, jello fries. Oh, that's jello a fries with coleslaw oh. and plantain. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and a nice that. coke or fanta or them things. But I also um, like yam porridge. I don't know why. That's oh. literally disgusting. But the first time I had it, yeah, I vomited. That was because it wasn't made properly. No, 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 no. I'm traumatized. I was like, I'm not having this again. <laughs> I was literally eating it like, what we please? <laughs> <laughs> My favourite one is probably pounded yam out of those ones. Out of, yeah, I like pounded yam. I don't really care what soup it is with. I like all soups. Yeah, we do. We actually do. We actually do. Yeah. Okay, when was the last time we were in Nigeria <coughs> and how many times have we been there? Well, we've been there three times. Who's we? I've been there twice. No, we've been there three times. No, we My man's the only one that's only been there twice. When's when's the three times? Okay, grandma's funeral. And oh yeah, wedding. Wedding. yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we have been there three times. Uh, so <laughs> last, the last time we went was when I was in year I six. I turned time. eleven. Remember, because the wedding. The wedding was the day before my birthday. What year was that then? Um, I don't know, but if I was eleven, that was eight years ago. Yeah, do the math. Two thousand nine. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 2009. I'm hoping that we go in December, you know, for Christmas. That would be so lit. Because this this year looks so lit. Everyone was in Naj for Christmas. Yeah, that's true. Man. Like, every, that's actually true. Everyone was there just living there. Oh, oh, everyone did. Even John Boyega was there. Everyone was there. Was there. Everyone! <laughs> we guys were there. In <laughs> it? I just, I want to do our lecky babe. I just want to feel like. The, the, the sun hit me, be doing like meddling. That's true, you know. Sun kiss. Do we have a, I just want to have at least one Christmas in Nigeria. Yeah, Christmas in Nigeria looks lit, so in that my, would be nice. In what tribe are we? Well, actually, we're two. We are Yoruba and we are Edo. Our dad is actually Edo and our mom is Yoruba. Yoruba, but they both speak Yoruba, so. Yeah, because um, my dad's second language is Yoruba. So yes. Yeah. That's why we have a Yoruba surname as well. Yeah. And my. The Achecha Veso, one of my names, that's the Edo one. Um, but yeah, so basically we just identify as Yoruba, right? Yeah, because that's all my parents speak, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting more into the fact that I'm Edo now. Because, yeah, I like all the beads, the beads and stuff. Jesus Christ. They're nice! <laughs> I am not even gonna lie, they're nice. And then I you just identify as Yoruba. Really? Sometimes I forget where Edo is. I actually, now that I'm at uni, I'm like, oh yeah, because apparently you're supposed to take your dad's side as well. And if daddy's Edo, then what, that means we're Edo, but it's just because all we hear is Yoruba. Yeah. Like, and literally, literally all our whole family speaks Yoruba. Yoruba. Say something in your tribal language. Um, what's my fave? What's my fave? Otito or 
Fumile. Fumile. Yeah, I'll teach you Fumile. Fumile. Yeah. Um, yeah, Fumile, basically, which just means leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay. What do you hate most about Nigeria? Actually, I can answer that. The corruption. The corruption. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's it. Because Nigeria's not poor, it's just poorly managed. Um, it's actually a very rich country and the people there are just very smart, but they use their, um, their intelligence in <laughs> ways they shouldn't, so. Yeah, but people been knowing that. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. It's nothing new that we just said. What do you like most about Nigeria? Probably that, the atmosphere. I think my favourite thing is how, pr how proud we are of our culture. Yeah. And how it's literally like, I love saying that I'm Nigerian. Basically. Yeah, I love it. Much. Do you have any? Love being Nigerian. Yeah, we do. <laughs> do you have any Nigerian nicknames? Do you? You don't. We call you Diola though. Her name's Adiola, but we call her Diola. Yeah, they just drop the A. Yeah, like even my dad doesn't even spell it with an A. But they say it really fast. Yeah. Because my name's Adi Adeola. Yeah. They just say Diola. Diola. Yeah. We just call her Diola. Um, me. A Fumi Lolly girl. Yeah, Fumi Lolly. I call you Fun Low. Yeah, Fun Low. My brother, calls, call fun. My brother calls me Fun Jebs. So then my brother that. calls me D. Yeah, 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 he calls her D. What makes you different from other Nigerians? Nigga, yeah, nothing. <laughs> <We> now, <laughs> we are the same. <laughs> we all experience the same struggles. Same struggles. Same years. Whether you're here or in Nigeria, I promise you, we have had our fair share. Do we speak our language? Hell no. No. I mean, we don't. We we're don't. Home, which is yeah, kind of shameful. Kind of mad, I don't even want to admit it sometimes. Sometimes I don't, but yeah, we don't. When we were born, our parents spoke to us in English. I don't, I don't know, know why what, they didn't. I don't, yeah, I don't know why. I don't actually, know why honest, they didn't, they didn't teach, teach us. Teach us. But or even speak to us in it. I'm trying. Me myself, I'm trying to now learn. But every yeah. time we're like, I'll just speak to us in your back. It's hard. It's hard like, for them. <laughs> they do try, but then it's easy. Like. I don't know, because they're not used to speaking to us in your reverse, so then they just end up speaking to us in English. Okay, what around our house represents our culture? Nah, nothing, really. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that does. I'm not gonna lie, most most Africans have a massive picture of their dad in the living room. Really? Yes! Our house is kind of. I think the. Probably, it looks really modern, yeah. like British. I would probably say it's just the food then. Yeah, we're... it's just the food. It's just the food. Because that's what Go to our kitchen, then you'll see. Yeah. That. The last question for the Nigerian tag is What is a ridiculous question you are asked about your culture? Hmm. I think the most ridiculous, well, not ridiculous, but ignorant is Do you guys live in huts? Which, really? Who's asked you that? Just some white guy. <laughs> My uni. It's just so annoying. Like it's just it's just ignorant. Number one. Number two. It's like even if okay. Obviously, there's places in Africa, and Nigeria, where they do live in hearts, but I don't know why it has to be seen as a bad thing. Yeah. Even if we do. Do you know what I mean? But it's like I know when they're asking me, their intentions are not pure. Like sometimes it's just to be malicious or it's just to be rude, which I don't I don't like. Obviously, it's people's way of life. Yeah. There, and so people look at it like that shouldn't be the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't, if you don't live there, then you don't really understand. Exactly. You can't really have an opinion about something. Yeah. You don't even understand or know. That's true. Thanks for watching, guys. That has been the Nigerian tag. Stay tuned for the sis oh, sibling sister. tag. Yeah. Stay tuned for the sibling tag. Um. So you can actually get to know her a bit better, even though she's kind of boring. I'm actually really funny, and you should subscribe to my channel. She'll leave it linked below, or you can click on my face right now. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. You buy Balenciaga. No difference. This year, girl, get taken by a guy in some air.